हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अंकिता एंड ही इज मिस्टर उदय आई एम द रजिस्ट्रार एंड सर इज अ चीफ टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट एट इंद्र प्रस्थ अपोलो हॉस्पिटल इन न्यू डेली ट्रांसफ्यूशन मेडिसिन डिपार्टमेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर अ क्रायो प्रोटेक्टिव सोल्यूशन सो टू प्रिपेयर अ हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ क्रायो प्रोटेक्टिव सोल्यूशन वील बी नीडिंग द फॉलोइंग आइटम्स फर्स्ट फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल ग्लास बॉटल ऑफ नॉर्मल सिलाई डी एम एस ओ हंड्रेड परसेंट Uh, in concentration 99.9 percent clinical grade and 20 percent human albumin, which usually comes in a 100 ml bottle. Apart from these, we'll be needing uh, ice packs or ice bed, some consumables such as uh, IV transfusion set and uh, syringes, 50 cc and 20 cc syringes, 16 gauge needles, some sterile as well as unsterile gloves. So now we'll be uh, demonstrating how to prepare a solution. So before starting preparing the solutions, we have to ensure all the items are ready beforehand. We need to switch on the laminar wood. As you can see here, we had already switched it on. It needs to be switched on with the UV light for about half an hour prior to starting the preparation of the solution. This ensures all the uh, aseptosity is maintained. After this, now we will be starting the preparation. So as you can see in this laminar wood, we have first placed a sterile sheet. All the items are thoroughly sanitized once again right before starting the procedure. Now to begin with, first we will take the 500 ml glass bottle of normal saline and we have to empty the bottle in, in order to prepare the solution inside the bottle. So we will be using a IV set to maintain the septicity and sterility. We will be using a IV set to empty the bottle. We have to ensure all the items are opened inside the laminar wood so as to maintain again the septic meshes. Now you can see the we have opened the lid of the glass bottle and now we are cleaning it with the help of an alcohol swab. We are once again disinfecting the surface. Now we'll connect it with the IV transfusion set and empty the contents. In any beaker or a tray, we can just empty the content of the saline bottle. As you can see, it is being emptied here in this uh, beaker. And it is advisable to use a IV set only instead of using a syringe because to reduce, so as to reduce the number of uh, bricks or the puncture holes made in the bottle and also at the time of uh, making any kind of a brick or a puncture hole in the bottle, some amount of the capping of the bottle may enter inside with multiple holes. Therefore, for ensuring all uh, sterility, we are using a IV set. So now as you can see, we have emptied the glass bottle, all the normal saline has been uh, transferred to another beaker. So now, next we will be rinsing the uh, glass bottle with uh, HES. We take about 30 ml of HES and we flush the entire bottle so as to any remains of uh, normal saline is removed. So this is a HES. This is HES, 500 ml. We will take a 50 cc short tip syringe. And a 16 gauge loading needle. So approx 30 ml HCS is yeah. 
with them drawing the syringe. Now we can see, now we are going to flush the bottle with HES. This, this is how you are continuously stirring the contents in order to flush out any remaining normal saline from the bottle. Now with the same syringe we are drawing out the content and we will discard it. This is the empty bottle. So now this is ready to start with the cryopreservation process. So for making the 100 ml of cryoprotectant, we need for 60 ml of HES. So I am just drawing the 60 ml of HES with the fresh syringe. And now we have to ensure that all throughout the procedure, the bottle is being placed on an ice pack. Because once we add HES, followed by addition of the DMSO, there is an exothermic reaction. So in order to maintain the temperature and to keep it, uh, to cool it down, we are uh, required to place the bottle on a ice bed. I have taken 60 ml of HES, so I am just going to add in a bottle. Now this is placed along the sides of the glass bottle, so that any, I uh, uh, mean, any amount of HES is all thoroughly distributed. Now, next we'll be adding BMSO, 15 ml of BMSO. Mm -hmm. Once again, we are cleaning the surface of the bottle after removal of the cap. So I'm just going to add a 15 draw, 15 ml uh, BMSO. So for that. I need 15 ml of BMSO in a syringe. This is 15 ml. And drop by drop. Now it is being added. Drop by drop. Drop by drop. With continuous shaking. Continuous uh, stirring of the contents is important so that there is a proper mixing of DMSO and HES. And since it is an exothermic reaction, so we are placing it on the ice pack also. So now as you can see, we have transferred all the DMSO inside the glass bottle and we have been continuously shaking it. Now we will uh, cover this bottle with a sterile sheet or a micropore and then refrigerate it at 4 degrees celsius for about half an hour after i mean before adding albumin 
so now we as you can see we have covered the bottle with the sterile sheet and now we are going to place it in the refrigerator at 4 degrees celsius for 30 minutes so now we have uh, kept we had kept the bottle in the refrigerator at 4 degrees now and uh, we'll be now adding the albumin to it so for we'll be adding about 25 ml of albumin for every step we are using a fresh syringe and needle this is very important this is a 20% human albumin uh, solution I am drawing a uh, 25 ml albumin. Albumin is being added into the bottle in a dropwise manner, and we are continuously again stirring the contents to ensure thorough distribution and mixing of all the contents. So now as you can see we have uh, nearly transferred all the albumin inside the bottle and we have been constantly mixing it. Now once uh, this is done, so now uh, this uh, con I mean, so now we have 100 ml of cryoprotectant solution ready for use. This should be ideally used immediately. If not, then we can store it at 4 degrees Celsius for about 24 to 48 hours and use it as and when required. There should not be any precipitant or any, uh, you know, uh, cloudy. We have to ensure uh, that the solution is transparent. There yeah, are yeah, no yeah. precipitates or any kind of clouding or opacity to ensure a smooth uh, CPS solution.